Oh yeah. This tire looks a little dunzo to me. So I'm gonna change it out and then we're gonna go do some musky fishing. Fishing me amigo. Oh yeah man. Heading over to Burke Lake right now. I have about four hours to do some musky fishing. I'm gonna throw a bunch of bucktails and once it starts getting darker, I'm gonna try some top water today. So maybe we'll get lucky. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I, again, I'm starting a lot later in the day than I wish I was, but I had to open a PO box, which I'm gonna put in the description below. The address is 6312 Seven Corner Center, box number 400. Falls Church, Virginia, 22044. So, yeah, if you want to send us some cookies or baits or letters, whatever it may be, send them over. All right, made it to Burke Lake. Got the tire on the trailer. It's a little bit later than I'd like it to be, but I probably have about three and a half to four hours out here until it gets super dark and I can't film anymore. So, I'm gonna get out here and throw some bucktails around, some of the jerk baits and the glide bait today. Let's see what happens. Well, at the first glance, the water is definitely more stained than I'm used to it being here. I never really see the water dirty here, and it's, I mean, probably only six to eight inches of visibility, so maybe that'll change things up for us a little bit today. So as I said, I'm gonna be throwing the bucktails around by Croats Custom Baits. I'm gonna try these out, some of the glide baits, and some of the other bucktails that Dennis gave me the other day. He also gave me this rod, and he gave me a reel, which is being serviced right now, but yeah, it's called a six scale Cypress. It's a 711 heavy, and this thing is just like a telephone pole. It's sick. So I'm gonna get to try this out today, and probably in about a week, I'll be able to get the Daiwa Alexa back. He gave me a Daiwa Alexa 300. So, huge shout out to Dennis. Thanks a lot for the rod and reel setup. Can't wait to try them out together. But this is what we're working with today. I'm gonna get out here for like four hours, try to catch a fish. All right, here we go. Starting off with this CCB bucktail. Throwing it on the new rod. And I have that paired up with the Daiwa Tatula 8 to 1. See how it goes. Last time I was here, my dad snapped a picture of two muskie back in this little cove. So I'm gonna fish my way out of it. 68 degree water temperature today. Beautiful spring day. It's like 65 degrees out here. A little bit of wind. Can't beat it. I don't know if the fish like it so much, but we'll see. Not a muskie, but a snail. Pretty sensitive rod, I guess. All right, I'm gonna try another bucktail. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. This is like a fire tiger colored bladed, <laughs> I don't know. Bucktail, I don't know who this is by. We're gonna give it a shot though. I heard that you wanna use smaller bucktails in the spring. Get it moving a little faster. Wow, that looks good. It's probably catch a bass. Oh man, okay. I am determined to catch a muskie out of this lake. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna keep trying until it happens. Supposedly the muskie population in here is pretty good too. I've yet to have a follow. Haven't really been out too much this spring, to be honest. I spent most of my time fishing here in the winter, so I'm sure that had a little bit to do with it, but I'm gonna keep trying. All right. Now this bait, I do not plan on throwing long because I'm gonna save this one. This is what I caught my first big muskie on, but I am gonna throw it a little bit today. Do it. So I don't know what it is about this bait, 
But this is by far my favorite bucktail that I've ever thrown. And granted, I have not thrown a bunch. I've probably thrown like five to 10. This one is awesome. It just swims perfectly. I mean, the blades spin flawlessly through the water. So cool. Okay, so I wanna try a bunch of different baits today. And something else I noticed when I was fishing with Dennis was that he switched baits pretty often. I mean, he got so many to choose from. He gave me quite a few too. I have no idea what this one's called, so someone's gonna school me on that for sure. I'm assuming I'm gonna fish it like a jerk bait. Or a glide bait, I mean. Give this a shot for a little bit. I don't know the exact name of this bait that Dennis gave me. This thing is sick. The action on it is phenomenal. I mean, you can just walk the dog with it underwater. It just comes back to the boat swimming like this. I mean, this thing covers a lot of water too. It darts probably two feet to each side on each pull. Looks awesome. Oh, it's stuck on itself. <laughs> So the water out here on the main lake is definitely a little bit less stained than it was in that creek. I wonder if I should focus more on that one specific creek. I don't know. Wind is really starting to pick up out here. So I'm gonna work my way out of this cove and what I'm gonna do is cast parallel to either side of this grass line, which you guys are about to see. I'm trying to talk to you out of the wind. Here we go. So I'm not sure if musky like bass position themselves into the wind. So I'm gonna go with saying that they do. And right now what I'm doing is working my way out of this cove. The wind is just blowing down the bank as you can hear it. And I'm paralleling this weed line and just working the outside edge of it. I was going to hit the inside edge, but it's only like a foot deep, but it's about two to three out here. And there's a bunch of stumps on the outside too. Um, oh shoot, I do want to get up here. So I'm just gonna continue to work my way out of this cove and then work down the main lake bank. Eat. I'm gonna try this bigger blade out, even though I know I just said that in the springtime they want smaller bucktails. I don't really know what small is in the musky world because everything's pretty damn big. I'm assuming when they say small, they mean something like the CCB or this smaller bucktail. I don't know the company of this one either. Um. I guess relatively in size. When this gets wet, it's obviously gonna get smaller. Blades are a lot bigger, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Oh yeah, this thing definitely moves a lot of water. I can feel those blades spinning. Wow, the skirt on this, I'm slowing down right now, I should be figure eighting, but the skirt on this thing just blows up in the water. I mean, it looks insane. That's a pretty damn big bait, if you ask me. The profile of it is huge compared to the other bucktails I've been throwing. This looks awesome. Look at it. It just blows up. It looks wild. The other ones kind of lay down. I mean, they definitely have some flow to them, but not like this. This is a different material, though. I don't know what kind of stuff you'd call this. It's almost like tinsel-styled stuff, but very cool. Very impressed with this bait. I don't know if this is the right time of year to throw one that has this big of a profile. But we're learning. I'm switching baits like a madman out here. And I think it's time for my buddy. The dragon. TNA's tackle, the angry dragon. Gonna give this a go for a little bit. I really wanna catch a fish on this thing. I don't know why, I just do. 
taking a little breather two minute sit down break I just want to show you some of the baits that I've thrown so far so I've thrown the glide bait around a bit I honestly don't remember the name of it it's not marked anywhere I'm sure someone will get on here and school me on it um, this is like another glide bait so you walk the dog with it underwater and it just comes back to the boat like this and it has like a really nice two foot range that it covers each stroke of the rod it's very very cool um, but yeah I threw this little fire tiger pattern one then I threw the CCB my favorite bucktail right here angry dragon for a little bit by TNA tackle also I threw this new rod around by six gill that Dennis hooked me up with this thing's awesome the only thing that I would change personally for me is just having a little bit longer butt of the rod so I can pit it a little bit easier it's just a little bit short if it was maybe like three inches four inches more it'd be perfect but I mean no complaints here I'm gonna use this daily for musky fishing and lastly I threw this very large bucktail around and again I heard that I'm supposed to throw smaller bucktails in the spring but I wanted to just give this a shot Dennis hooked me up with like seven or eight different baits and I just they're new to me this is like the beginning of bass fishing when you see all these new lures you want to try all of them so that's what I'm doing out here today is just trying a bunch of new lures just covering water having a good time enjoying the nice weather but this one I have yet to throw a bucktail like this the whole skirt literally just blows up in the water and it's a huge profiled bait you can work it really slow um, because of these huge blades I could not imagine if one hit it right here like this. Okay, as soon as we turn this corner, we're on the home stretch. We need a miracle. It is time for the last cast. That does it. So, did not finish this video the other day, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it out for you guys since I'm finishing it up editing. First, I wanna say that I have been slacking big time on the uploads, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these edits out as quickly as possible to you. I've really been taking it easy since the 30 day challenge ended. I have been fishing a lot, just have not been doing a ton of editing. That being said, be ready this week because there's gonna be quite a few coming your way. So. I almost didn't post this video because I felt that there wasn't too much content in it and then I realized that I did go over a bunch of new baits and they're new to me and I also realized that I've literally filmed every single trip I have ever taken to go musky fishing. So I'm going to continue to do this and I want to do it for myself and for you guys so I'll be able to look back and you guys will be able to look back uh, you know, in a year or two years and see just progress and if you're learning to fish for musky you know you might be able to watch these videos and progress with me um, besides all the baits that I threw today I also received another one this is a bucktail by musky magnet and this thing is awesome I really like this I wish I had it the other day to throw around at Burke Lake um, I literally only tested it in waters with no musky. I just wanted to see what it looked like. But this thing's pretty sweet. I want to give a shout out to them. Thanks Colin for sending me this bait. It's very, very well done. And it seems like it should be perfect for spring. So, can't wait to get this out on Burke Lake and throw this thing around. Besides that, I also ran into two guys from Four Brothers Outdoors and they said they had two musky strikes the same day I was out there, but they were way up lake. And up lake at Berkeley Lake is somewhere I very rarely spend much time fishing so next time I'm out there I'm gonna focus mainly fishing up there because I've heard a couple different times that's where people have been catching them so besides hearing about those two strikes 
James Higgins, who is you know well known in the Northern Virginia fishing community, caught one Saturday night that was like 35 inches. Beautiful fish. Congrats to you, man. That was very sick. I'm gonna finish this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you Wednesday. Thank you.